Good morning, guys. I just want to go through the revision of um, depreciation here. I will be apportioning depreciation. Um, this is actually in your test, so I want you guys to make sure that you understand what it means to apportion. Nothing has changed really. Everything has remained the same, except that you will not be calculating depreciation for the entire year if you didn't use the vehicle for the whole year. Now, it says here, very snazzy limited picture is a Ford Ranger which is a wild track from Springs KC Ford for 750000 The vehicle's registration number is VT20CLGP. This vehicle was purchased in order to deliver goods to customers. It was purchased on the 30th of June 2017. Remember I said to you the financial year normally runs for 12 months. However, we bought this vehicle during the year. So we didn't use it for the entire year in the 2017 year, all right? The vehicle is depreciated at 20% on diminution balance method. This vehicle is expected to be used for five years. Now, please know that that five years is your useful life. It is the useful life of your asset. Um, so we expect to use this asset for five years. We expect to generate income from this asset for five years. This vehicle was sold on the 30th of September 2020 for 500000 This is the selling price. The selling price is simply 500000 Meaning that in the financial year that ended on the 30th of December 2020, we didn't use that vehicle for the whole year. Now, certain things. Date of sale. Okay, this is the vehicle that we simply purchased, right? Date of sale will simply be the 30th of September 2020. We are simply selling it for 40, 400,000 rand. Actually, it is 500,000 rand. For the 2017 financial year, which is the first year we bought the vehicle, I'm going to draw the timeline, which is my financial year. It starts on the 2017, it ends on the 30th of December 2017. That is our financial year. where our financial year starts around. You will realize that this vehicle was only purchased in June. We've only had it from June until December. How many months are we talking about? June until December. In 2017, we only had this vehicle from June until December. And you realize that from June until December, the 30th of June until December, That will give you six months. So in the first year, we've only had this vehicle for six months. Out of our financial year, 12 months. So we have had it for six months over 12. That is why for your first year, which is obviously when you calculate your depreciation, you will calculate it on the 31st of December 2017. You will take the cost price of 750000 multiply by 20%, but you will multiply that by 6 over 12. That is what we mean by apportioning, right? We are apportioning it. We are only calculating depreciation for the useful life, for the period over which we used the asset. Obviously, useful life will be divided over five years annually. Um, um, we will calculate depreciation on this asset. However, you need to realize that even though depreciation is calculated annually, um, this specific asset in the first year was only used for six months out of 12 months. Hence, your depreciation for first year will be 75,000. Accumulated depreciation will be the same, and your carrying value will simply be 750, which is the cost price, your accumulated depreciation of 75 will give a carrying value of 675. For 2018 financial year, which starts from the 1st of January 2018 to the 31st of December 2018, we actually use this for the entire year. That's why I'm multiplying that by 12 over 12. And that will simply give me 135,000. Accumulated depreciation will be 75,000 plus 135,000, which is 210,000. My carrying value will 750 minus 210,000, and that will give you 540,000. For the 2019 financial year, which starts on the 1st of January 2019 to the 31st of December 2019, I will simply take the carrying value because here we are depreciating 
using the diminishing balance. Our carrying value from last year was 540. It will take 540 multiplied by 20%, multiplied by 12 over 12. That is because we have used it for the entire year, for the entire 2019 financial year. And this will simply give you 108,000. And 108,000, when you add it with 210,000, it will give you 318. For me to calculate my carrying value, I will simply take my cost price of 750 minus 318,000, and that will give me 432,000. However, for the 2020 20 financial year, did we use this asset for the entire year? Note that 2020 financial year starts on the 1st of June, well, the 1st of Jan 2020. And we sold this vehicle on the 30th of September. So let's see, it's January, February, March, April, May. So basically, it'll end here. Please note that from January, we've had this vehicle, all right? Because we bought it long time ago. We bought it on the 30th of June. So at the beginning of the year, we had this vehicle. We had this vehicle until the 30th of September. Meaning that for the 2020 financial year, we only used this vehicle for for nine months. Hence, your depreciation for 2020 financial year will simply be, um, it will simply be 432,000 multiplied by 20% multiplied by nine over 12. That is because for the 2020 financial year, I only use this vehicle for nine months. Please note that, okay? We only use it for nine months for the 2020 financial year, okay? And when you multiply um, this amount here, by 20% multiplied by 9 over 12, it will give you that. Your accumulated depreciation, you just add those two amounts, it will give you that. For your carrying value, you simply take the cost price, you minus your accumulated depreciation, it will give you that carrying value of 366,200. Please do this as homework. It is due at 1600. That is not supposed to be there. It is due at 4 o'clock. 